Hey everybody, Jeremy here with the Practical IT channel. Today we're going to take a look at getting Menarca backup server installed on a fresh Debian 12 install. Now this Debian 12 install is a server version and I didn't give the VM a lot of space, but we can remedy that in a future video. So let's get started and see what we can do with this. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is connect to our Debian server, and that is on IP 74.145. And as you can see, it does say Debian GNU Linux. We run uname dash A. We'll see that it's Debian 12 with the 6.1 kernel, and we are set to go. So the first thing we need to do is do updates. So we're going to do sudo apt update. Um, sudo apt upgrade dash y. And we are up to date. Next on our list, we need to install a few prerequisites. So we need apt transport HTTPS, CA certificates, curl, and LSB release and GPG. So we'll go ahead and get that installed. We'll add our dash Y to the end. And we are good to go. The next command we need to do is going to be a curl command to install the Menarca GPG key. So we're actually going to switch to the root user temporarily for this. And we're going to paste in our command curl and it's the Menarca public key and it sends it to user share keyrings monarcha keyring dot gpg and we're good to go there next command is going to add the monarcha repository to our sources so it's using an echo command and it's the monarcha keyring gpg and the repository from the Menarca site and sending it to etsy apt sources dot list dot d slash Menarca dot list and then we'll run update again And then we will install the server with apt install monarca hyphen server. If I spell it correctly. And yes, we want to install. And as you can see, one of the components it uses is our diff backup which has been around for quite some time and then we can verify that our server is up and running system cuddle status narca hyphen server and as you can see it is active and running so let's switch over to the web browser and check out the server there. All right, and so Menarca is up and running. The default username is admin and the default password is admin123 and we are in. And of course, the first thing we want to do is go to the admin area, users, 
and add a different user. We can leave the root directory blank and we're going to set this to an admin user, an add user, and just for good measure, we are going to set the admin password to something stronger. Okay. And so we are going to go ahead and log out. We'll log in with our newly created user. And we are into the system. So currently there are no repositories. If we go to dashboard, our graphs are not populated because we haven't backed up anything. And of course the admin area is here for your exploration. We've got an overview, of course users, repositories, and active sessions in the last hour. Users, which we've looked at. Repositories, this will include a list once we start backing up to this machine. User sessions, system logs, and system info. Now, as mentioned, this is a test server for the purpose of this video, but we are going to jump over to the Windows 11 machine and we'll do an install of the client there and we'll back up a couple of files. I'll see you there. Okay, here we are on the Windows 11 machine. And so we need to go to the Monarca website and download the client. Website is monarca.org. We'll go to download. We're gonna get the Windows version. Okay, we'll open up the containing folder and we'll close our browser. And as you can see, we've got an executable here. So we will run that as administrator. More info, run anyway. And yes, and follow the prompts. Okay for English, I agree, install. Finish. Okay, we'll launch the Monarca backup client. Okay. So it gives you a prompt down here. And enter in our IP address. And we need to add the port number, colon 8080 is the default. So unless you've changed it, that's what you will want to use. The username and password that we set up on Monarca server. And the repository name is going to be the name of the computer. So if you've not renamed your Windows machine, you may want to do that before you do your backup. But we're going to leave this as is for the moment since it is a demo server. Sign in. And it says, no backup yet, and last backup is unknown. So in the client here, we can go to select files, and by default, users documents is selected. And you can obviously add any of these others, or you can add a folder or add specific files to your backup. We're going to accept the default for this purpose and say start backup. And I believe there's only one file on this, so it should go pretty quick. So let's jump back over to our server. All right, on our server, you can see that we've got 
a backup shows our oldest backup and the highest average duration. So 0 0.035 seconds or 0 0.035 minutes. Storage usage, least active, most active. So since there's only one machine backing up to this demo server, they're both gonna be the same. We jump over to repositories. We'll see our Windows machine and we can drill down into the files and we've got the desktop.ini and our sample txt file. Now I'm not sure why it's showing the version as 21 hours ago, but that could be a difference between the time on the server and the time on the client and that's likely the case. Of course that's something that you can dig into in a little more detail on your own. If we go to logs, it does have some warnings. And of course, before you roll this out into a production environment, you will want to address anything that is of particular concern in your specific environment. Some of these may be able to be corrected and others might be fixed in a future version of Monarca. All right, so let's look at the website just a little bit more just to cover some details. So Monarca is free and open source. From the download side, you can see that Windows, Mac OS, and various Linux distributions are supported. Now, one thing I should point out, and I have been in contact with a developer, the information you see on the download page here on the website is in need of an update. If you look at the docs specifically, it will show you more up-to-date information on versions. So if we look at installation on Ubuntu or Debian, you will see that Kinetic for Ubuntu and Bookworm for Debian are in fact supported. One of my other questions for the developer was whether or not the Mac OS client is supported on Apple Silicon. And the response I received was that due to powers beyond his control, um, it is more difficult to test and make sure things are fixed on Apple Silicon versions of Mac OS without having an Apple Silicon Mac. So your mileage may vary if you're running a newer Mac system. However, as it's open source, hopefully people will continue to test this on Apple Silicon Macs, report bugs, and if you're a developer, please by all means get involved and offer fixes. Unfortunately, I'm not a developer and my usefulness in this area is limited. However, I did spend a period of time as a software quality assurance tester and so I am more than willing to help test on Apple Silicon Macs. I do have an M1 Mac Mini. So we've got a nice lightweight backup server and client that runs cross-platform Linux, Windows, Mac OS with the caveat that your Apple Silicon Mac may experience some crashes of the client. Hopefully as time goes by and more people get involved in the development, then we may be able to have a more stable client on newer versions of Mac OS that are on Apple Silicon. All right, what do you think of Monarca? Do you have any questions? Do you have a use case where this may come in handy? 
Personally, I'm testing this out to, for a potential rollout at my day job. We are going to have some machines that can easily be repurposed to be a backup server. And I think this would be a good use of existing equipment. Again, we are in a predominantly Windows environment where I work. And so the client will not provide any significant hiccups as we've seen so far. So tell me what you think down in the comments. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next video. Have a great day, everybody.